All right, well, we figured that out. What's in this room? You got your key. Great, now open the door. Anything else in the hallway before I do that? Also, what's up here? Is the girl still crying? Hmm. Can't hear anything coming from this room. Okay. Locked. Locked. Okay. So, we're going in that room. Before I do that, let me see what this is. A small red cardigan put together with careful, precise stitching. Okay. A small golden bell decorated with silky pink ribbons. There is a letter A engraved on the inside. Do we just read it again? We do. Okay. that. A wooden tube carrying a thin wax record. Cutlery with the eye. Alright. What's in here? Hmm. Hmm? Uh-oh. Oh? Hmm. Oh. Well, that's not good. Well, that's a trap. Yes. Okay, so go in, grab whatever this is, get the heck out. X record, 2-5. There was a picture there, too. Oh. Your face scribbled out, huh? What is this? I don't want to go in there. It's still nothing? Yeah, that's still nothing. Oh, uh, we have another wax recording. What does that do? This so we can free up the slot. Old photograph rests on table, yada yada yada. Oh, Elise! Ooh. Elise, Elise, Elise! You really did think you could fool me, didn't you? <laughs> Worry not, my dear Elise. For I, your faithful patron, shall collect the deed in due time. You wouldn't want our lovely golden agreement to be all for naught now, would you? <laughs> this voice. Ah. Okay. 
Well, I still can't go over here, can I? I can! Okay, that changed. Oh, damaged by humidity, the stained rotten wood embraces what's left of the grandfather clock. An old arrangement of parched flowers sits on the tall, dusty vase surrounded by dark, crumpled petals. Let's see what's up here first. Are you sure this will be alright? Of course, my love. You are safe here. There is no need for you to worry. What about your family? That's a different matter. It has nothing to do with us, my dear. What about your daughter? What about her? Won't she suffer from this? I will be sure to take care of that issue soon. A hush, my dear. Let us not worry about the future. Such an unpleasant conversation. There are people in there. Underlying Desire, 1892, the painting of a boy attempting to escape a horned demon. Hmm. Remires of a Young Lady, 1547, a young elegant woman poses peacefully with a serene expression on her face. Hmm. Eek. The torn chandelier rests shattered on the floor. Its candles are strewn about. The light went out in there. And there are still people in there, okay? How dare you disobey me? What have I told you about leaving the room during the night? I'm sorry, Father. Ooh. This is the last time you will ever disobey me. Now get in your room and do not dare come out until I tell you to. You understand? Yes, father. Poor girl. It's a broken wine bottle. Mm. Not before. Your case. Nothing there. Okay, up we go, I guess. Oh. Where have you been? Our pay, I... I've been looking everywhere for you. I'm sorry. I just... I heard a strange noise while you were gone. A strange noise? Yes. You didn't hear it? No, I haven't heard it. More importantly, are you alright, miss? Did you get hurt somewhere? <laughs> oh, no. I'm alright. That's a relief. However, you shouldn't go around by yourself, do you understand? I... No buts, miss. This mansion can be very dangerous, as it is very old. You could get hurt if you wander around carelessly. I'm sorry, Harpe. That's alright, miss. I'm just glad you're safe and sound. I'm sorry, Harpe. I was just worried about you. Worried about me? Because that sound was so loud. And since you're... I'm... Oh no, it's nothing. I just thought you could have gotten hurt. There's no need to worry about me, miss. But thank you. Come now, let us get inside at once. I'm sure you're feeling tired. Yes, let's. Give me your hand, just so you don't get lost. Alright. Hmm... Pay, I can't. Or pay? Yes. Why is it so dark in here? Oh, I'm sorry, miss. There are no lights in this corridor, and it's gotten pretty dark. I know the way. There's nothing to worry about. I see. All right. You're here, miss. Hmm. 
Are you feeling alright, miss? My head hurts. You must be tired. Ah, yes. It'll pass. Don't worry, Harpe. Please tell me if it doesn't. I can make you some tea. Thank you, Harpe. Come, let's sit. It's best if we talk while sitting down. Where were you all this time, miss? Oh, I... Um... Let's tell the truth. I... I went to the floor above, the one we were in. The noise seemed to come from above, so... You shouldn't have gone there, miss. I... No, it's alright. I'm not upset, I was just worried about you. You don't need to make such an expression, miss. I'm sorry, Harpe. No, I'm sorry for taking so long to come back. Anyway, where are we? Ah, this is a simple reception room. Ah, I see. I am so glad you're safe, my girl. Even so, you do look a bit bewildered. I... I'd just like to ask you something, Harpe. Please, go ahead. Are you the only person in this house? What do you mean? Oh, I, uh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to scare you, but I've heard some voices downstairs. Voices? Yes. I'm sorry, miss, but there isn't anyone else other than the two of us in this mansion. Are... are you sure? Yes. It must have been your imagination, I'm sure. I see. You must be right. You must be very tired, my girl. Perhaps you should take a rest. I have a few guest rooms on the upper floors you could... Oh, no. What's the matter? There's a button missing in her cardigan. Oh, I'm so sorry. I hadn't noticed it was missing. I'm so sorry, my girl. I mustn't have sewed it properly. No, I'm sorry. I was the one who lost it. I'm going to get a new button upstairs. Would you like to come with me? Um... Let's do yes. Yes, why not? Let's go then. Hmm. An extrubitant porcelain vase delicately holds fresh, colorful flowers. The pale doll sits on display with a serene expression. This doll looks familiar somehow. Hmm. Oh, there's another door up there. Huh. There's an open book here. Chapter XIII, Behavior at the Table. When the announcement is made that the meal is ready, one must be prompt to attend the summons to, so that no inconvenience may be occasioned by delay. It's filled with lists of rules. This is... Oh. Hmm. What is the meaning of this? Uh, okay, let's follow her. Oh? The save point. Oh. I should go with Harpe. Ah, dang it. Well, watch for that. Now, we'll come back to it then. Follow her all the way up this time. Ooh. Hmm. Not 
Nothing. Nothing of interest. Okay then, nothing of interest. Our pay? I apologize, my girl. It seems I have gotten a bit ahead of you. Oh no, that's alright. I was just wondering where you'd gone to. I see. It wasn't my intention to worry you. Our pay, where are we? Tell me, miss. What is it? You remember this dresser? No. I see. Here, take a seat. Our pay. Yes? Is this dresser something I should recognize? No, not necessarily. I asked you out of curiosity, nothing else. But, but if you ask me that, then... Miss? Ah, yes. It's fine you don't want me to, but may I brush your hair? My hair? Yes, it's... It is something I have been wanting to do for a long time now. Yes. Yes, of course you can. Thank you, my girl. I am deeply grateful. Well then, could you please pass me the hairbrush? Ah, yes. Hmm. This comb is so fancy, Harpe. Is it really yours? Yes, it is. It was once given to me as a present for my family. I see. This might sound funny to you, but I feel like I've seen it somewhere before. Perhaps your memories may be coming back. Harpe? Yes, what is it, my girl? Can you please tell me a bit more about myself? I can tell you about what I know. Unfortunately, it isn't much, but I hope it will satisfy you. Anything will do. I mean, sorry. Please don't apologize. I understand your need to know my girl. But could you please hand me the comb first? Ah, I'm so sorry, Harpe. Don't worry, miss. Now please sit up straight and place your hands on your lap. Oh, yes. Just like that, we don't want your beautiful long hair to get tangled down, do we? Thank you, Harpe, for combing my hair. There's no need to thank me, my girl. I was the one who asked you if I could in the first place anyway. You are a very sweet individual, miss. Although you may have a few difficulties regarding some circumstances. What do you mean? You need to have more faith in yourself. You have come this far thanks to your own effort, so it is time to start believing in your capabilities. I guess you're right. You may not think of yourself as such, but you truly are a very diligent person. No one but you knows what hurdles you have surpassed in your journey. You realize your goals, your fears, and even your own strengths. Or pay. It's time you start pulling yourself together, my girl. No more hesitating. No more doubts. You must carry out your duty regardless of the means. Regardless of the consequences. Or pay? Enough running away. It is easy to lose yourself in your path, and even I. Even I am nothing more than a cruel misunderstanding. Or pay? But you are different. You are more than your mistakes. You are more than your fears. You are more than your duties. It is time to let go, my girl. You must give in, and you must lose control and never mind your fears. I will be with you, and I will protect you. Uh-oh. Or pay, what's going on? Oh. You are safe with me. At ending number two, blindness. Hmm. Okay then.
All right, so that was that. Let's go up here and get the happenings there. Have that happen. Have that happen. Let's still tell the truth. Choose no. Still a bit tired. Can I stay here and rest a little longer? That is alright. I don't mind. I won't take too long. So please, be sure to take a good rest. Yes, thank you, Harpe. Okay. Alright, read the book. Rules. Plane crossing out the mom. Take a look at these. What's in this north room? Oh. Oh? You finally come to me. Who? Who are you? I've been waiting for you, Angel. What? What do you mean? I wasn't expecting you to forget about me this quickly. Is my name Angel? Yes, it is. But then, who are you? Angel, Cherubina of Shred Wings. I am you, Angel. It's a shame you can't remember me. You see, we have a special connection. Like petals from the same flower, or so I would say. You are me, Angel. And I am you. Ow. It was my role to find you, and now that I did, it's your role to complete me. You don't have much time, but please listen to me. What are you talking about? It's time for us to be reunited, Angel. They've always tried to tear us apart, but now I have finally found you. Wait. Oh? Miss, where are you? You have to come to me. I'm waiting for you on the other side of the mirror. Wait! You are not alone, Angel. I will always stay with you from now on. Every time you need me, just knock three times on the mirror and I'll come to you. Wait, Angel. Please, you have to trust me. And please, promise me you'll be careful. He's still out there looking for you. Wait, who are you talking about? I'll be waiting for you, Angel. Hmm. Huh. Our pay is back. Oh, there's no door. It's just a really weird painting. Where have you been? 
Or pay. I'm sorry, I just... I got into this room and... Haven't I told you not to wander by yourself? You could've gotten hurt. I... or pay. Hmm. There's no helping it, is there? I'm sorry I yelled at you, miss. Or pay. Everything alright? Is there always a big painting in this room? A painting? No, there isn't. Hmm. What's the matter, miss? You don't seem too well. I... Yes, what is it? Or pay. Is my name Angel? Hmm. I'm sorry, what did you say? I... I just... You just what? What did you do? Who told you that? Or pay, I just... I don't want to hear any more excuses from you. Hmm. Listen, my girl. Eyes won't take you anywhere in this place. Enough is enough, and it's time you face the consequences of your own acts. Playing house will not make everything better. Hiding won't make you invisible, miss. What are you talking about? I'm sorry. I got a bit carried away, I apologize. Or pay. I don't know what to do anymore. I don't know where I am or what I'm doing. Blood is gone, and now I met this strange girl, and I... Who did you meet? She said my name was Angel, and that she was me. Your name is not Angel, miss. Hmm. It's not? No, it is not. But she... That is enough. You mustn't meet this girl ever again. You mustn't trust her, no matter what she says. But why? Listen, miss. I need you to listen carefully. As I told you before, I can't tell you your name. I can't tell you who you are or what you should do from now on. However, I can protect you from whoever is trying to hurt you. Is Fleda trying to hurt me? I don't know, miss. All I know is that you mustn't trust anyone but yourself. You understand? No. I don't understand the situation at all. I see. Shall I leave you on your own, then? What? I'm asking you if you're going to walk away from this situation you don't understand. Why are you here, miss? What have you come here to do? I... I don't know. I don't know. What does that tell us, then? Didn't you want to know who you are, what your name is, and what you're supposed to do? Are you just going to give all of that up? Or pay? I refuse to protect someone who has no will to thrive, miss. That is no longer my role. I... I'm sorry, Harpe. I don't need your apologies. No! I mean it. I understand what you're saying, Harpe. I do want to know who I am and what I'm doing here. Please forgive me. I ended up pressuring you when it wasn't my intention. Oh, you're right, Harpe. Can't simply give up. I'm glad you understand, miss. I need you to trust me. I need you to stay true to yourself. That is the only way you will ever find the answers to your questions. That is what I've been trying to tell you. I'm sorry, I went overboard. No, that's alright. I don't think you were trying to hurt me, Harpe. Oh, thank you, miss. Thank you for trusting me. Harpe? Oh no, it's nothing. I am just feeling a bit overjoyed, that's all. But anyway, I got the button we needed to fix your coat. Thank you, Harpe. You're welcome, my girl. It's done. Thank you, Harpe. You're welcome, miss. Oh then, shall we go? Go where? 
I need to take you to a safe place. We can't stay here forever now, can we? Oh, I see. Let's hurry. Hmm. Painting. Yeah, it's a weird painting. Is something the matter? Oh, I. I'm sorry, I was just... Oh, now, my girl. Listen, Doddle. I'm sorry. Ooh. Hmm. Oh. Dusk. Ah! No, I'm gonna dawdle, because if we go up, we're gonna die. Okay, so that's done with. Here's a save point. 